What is the maximum number of 70 kilogram people that a lift with a mass of 400 kilograms can carry safely if the maximum tension in the cable is uh, 16,200 newtons and the magnitude of the acceleration must not exceed 4 meters per second squared? Okay, obviously drawing a force diagram will be very helpful in this situation. So here's my lift with my, some people in the lift. We've got the tension going upwards and then we've got the mass. Now the mass is going to be the, uh, sorry, the weight. So we're going to have the weight of the lift, which is going to be 400. Plus, now if there are N people and each one of them weighs 70 kilograms, then we're going to have 70 N for the mass, and to make that weight, we need to multiply it by g. And then we've got the acceleration, and we take positive to go upwards. So, if we now resolve forces vertically, we've got that t minus 400 plus 70n g is going to be equal to the mass, which is 400 plus 70n times a. This is Newton's second law. If A is 4 metres per second squared and G is taken as 9.8 metres per second squared, substitute that and we get T is minus 400 plus 70N times 9.8. It's equal to 400 plus 70N times 4. Now expanding carefully, so you've got T, 9.8 times 400 is um, 3920. And then this um, will come minus... Uh, 686n is going to be equal to uh, 1600 plus 280n. Uh, so t will be equal to, so combining these two, that makes uh, 5520, and combining these two, plus 966n. So the maximum value for, of the tension is one thousand uh, sixteen thousand two hundred newton. So it's going to be sixteen thousand two hundred newton is equal to five hundred twenty five thousand five hundred twenty plus nine hundred and sixty six n. Right. Uh, so resolving that, we're going to have nine hundred. So we're going to have 966N is equal to 10,680. And then to find N, we'll need to divide by 966. We get that N is equal to 11.05. Obviously, we can have 0.5 of people. So therefore, the maximum number of people the lift can safely carry, or carry safely, is going to be 11. Okay, this has been the video to show you how to work out the maximum load for a lift. I hope you understand, and I thank you very much for watching.